Who remembers their first job? Who loved it? Who hated it? But I'm going to guess most of us can say at the end that we're really glad we had it. Encouraging people to donate to my most favorite organization, Crochet Kids International, is so important to me because I have seen the impact they have. The incredible impact having a job can have on someone. Today in this video speech, I am going to discuss why you should contribute to Crochet Kids International, also known as KKINTL. I will do this by explaining um, why what they do is so amazing, why volunteering is so important, um, why being informed globally is important, and finally, um, what you can do. I have spent the past year as an intern for Crochet Kids in Costa Mesa, California, and upon moving back to the East Coast, I became one of their regional sales reps. So it's an organization that I'm obviously very, very excited about. Um, so, who are they? First of all, Crochet Kids is a 501c3 nonprofit. They work in Uganda and Peru um, with the most vulnerable populations. That was something they really wanted to push when they decided they wanted to do this. Um, so, then what they do is the three part method. Um, first is jobs, give them employment. Second is education. Um, find topics that they need to know more on and do what you they can for them. And then finally, it's mentorship. They were really passionate about wanting to make sure that they um, were reaching the women in like a very intimate way, so that way they could find out the information that they needed as well as um, just anything that they could really need um, for life, which I think is a really exciting part of what they're doing. Um, so obviously, um, so what do they do? What do they actually do for jobs? So um, they make clothing, like this lovely sweater, um, as well as beanies and bags and different kinds of accessories that are sold throughout the U.S. and Canada. Um, so since I have talked about Crochet Kids and what they do, let me move on to my next point, which is giving and volunteering. So um, this point is just kind of very basic. Giving is good. Um, it feels really good to give and volunteer in whatever way you can do that. It's just a really beneficial thing um, for people and for their heart. Uh, Cheryl Wudun, um, she was the author of Half the Sky, wrote about this. She talked about how in her 2010 TED Talk, she discussed why all of this was so important and that once you are situated with, in your life with finances, once you are comfortable in that way, the only way to increase your joy in life is to give. Um, and I believe that's because that's how we're designed. Um, and when you donate to Crochet Kids, you're becoming a part of this. You're becoming a part of someone's journey. You're becoming a part of giving someone what they really need, um, which is just a really amazing thing. Now that I've discussed volunteering, let me move on to my next point, which is being aware globally. This is something so important that I think a lot of people forget about. Um, you're not really serving yourself or anyone else well if you're not aware of what's going on in the world. Um, Malazzo wrote an article in 2013 about and could mention Crochet Kids in it and what amazing work they were doing in, in Uganda. But before they could talk about that, they had to talk about gender issues. They had to talk about all of the kind of problems that Uganda is facing in regards to poverty. Because you have to really understand those things before you can understand the good an organization is doing. I feel like a lot of times people kind of jump. They kind of jump to like whatever the thing is that they're supposed to believe is what they're supposed to be doing, um, what they think is really good, but a lot of times, if you're not really informed, it can actually be more harmful. Um, um, knowing this really makes a difference. Knowing what's going on just is this. Um, since we just have been globally aware, let me move on to my final point, which is what you can do with Crochet Kids International. Um, sorry about my face being covered a little bit. Um, but anyways, but first is buy a beanie. Support the cause. Go online. Buy one of these sweaters. Buy a bag. Um, the business part of this is incredible. Every product is hand signed by the woman who made it, so you can directly see how what you're doing is making her life better. So buy a beanie. Be a part of it. Don't eat money. Maybe you're somebody who has been blessed financially and you really want to give that blessing back. So make sure that you are going on, and no matter what is a little bit or a lot, just donate. That can be a huge part of it. Hold a fundraiser. I personally really like this one because I think a lot of times people feel like they want to do something but don't know exactly what it's going to look like for them or don't really know what they have to offer. So find something you love, you know, 
Do you love running? Host, host a 5K. Um, do you love, you know, making something, you know, do a bake sale. Like, whatever it is, it's really cool. Um, talk about Crochet Kids International. That's the next one. This is so important because if you talk about Crochet Kids with people, the more you get the word out about how great they are and what they're doing and how cool their products are, the faster they're going to be able, the more women they're going to be able to help. So that's a huge part of it. And lastly, contact Crochet Kids International. If you really have any questions that you would like to talk about or a way you want to get involved or an idea you have, um, let them know. That could be great. So in conclusion, in this video, I hope I've persuaded you to see the importance of volunteering and Crochet Kids International and why it's a really great thing to be a part of. Um, this was about establishing who they were and their tr amazing trifold plan, discussing why giving is so important, um, why volunteering and all of that is great for life, why thinking globally really changes things, um, and then lastly, sharing the ways you can get involved, like fundraising. In the end, I want to tell a story. Um, as part of my internship in 2016, we talked to one of the founders. Um, when Stu went to Uganda for the first time 10 years ago, he kept asking people over and over again, what do you need? What do you need? And they just kept saying, jobs, jobs is what we need. These are amazing, hardworking people that just haven't had the opportunities that they deserve to have. So become a part of it. Buy a hat, change a life. That's what they keep saying, and so you really want to do that. Um, be a part of her story. Thank you.